Three things to help you win those eBay auctions like a pro. Number one, don't bid on anything until the final minute of the listing. Number two, click the watch feature and enable your notifications. That way you can save your time and only bid on it when the time comes. Number three, bid in weird increments. If it's if you want to pay $100 for it, bid $100.37. Don't bid $100 in one cent because a lot of people know that trick and they're going to do that. Bid an obscure number. And if you really want it, just bid $102 and then that you'll beat the guy that bids $100. Those are the three important things that will help you win auctions on eBay like a pro. They will also help you win auctions on other sites. Please like and subscribe, and there's your information for today. I am going to go into elaborate on these three points now, but I did want to give you that information. That way, if you already knew about it, I can save your time. Please at least hit that like button. It helps me out a bunch. If you want to watch LEGO content, then subscribe as well, because I post content Tuesdays and Fridays, baby. But let's elaborate on these three points. These, again, will help you with any auction website, mostly eBay. I have been on eBay for over 10 years. I've learned a lot throughout it, and this is what I do now to win auctions, save money, and save time. Time is precious. Save your time and do these three things. As we said, number one, don't bid on something until the very end of the listing. What I mean there is literally wait until the last minute of when it's going to expire. It might get stressful and dicey because, you know, you might be worried about internet or will this bid lock in. If you don't have great internet, then sure, within the last couple minutes, bid on it. But I actually wait until the last 10 seconds sometimes, quickly click bid, type in a quick a number, and send it. It's dicey because, you know, you won't know right away, did I win this, did I not? You won't see if you're beating somebody. But for most auctions, you have an idea of what you're willing to spend on it. And that is the key. If you can figure out, hey, I want this cool Lego train set, but I want it for $200 or less. If it's somebody's going to buy it for 210 then they can have it. Don't get into those bidding wars where you say, hey, I'd spend 200 on this, and what do you know? $300 later, it's mine. I've been there, done that, and uh, I'm not mad about it. No, I was... <laughs> I, what's worse, you know, losing a listing or spending too much on one? Leave that in the comments. I do think this method helps a lot, and the reason for it is that people will not even know that you're interested or willing to bid on this, so they these people might not even know there's a bidding war that's going to happen. They might bid less on it, and then you're also saving money. There's been a lot of times where I came into a listing, bid my max amount, and won the auction, and people were probably like, what? Where'd this come from? It's an auction site. I, if I want to win something, I'm going to use strategy, and you should too. That's the first thing I do. The second thing I do is I, I don't like wasting my time. I've spent so many years when I was younger looking at cool things and saying, wow, I really want this set or I want that or, oh my gosh, look at this cool vintage set or, wow, this guy has all these Star Wars figures. I want this listing. What do you do? Most people look at it and they say, oh, you're watching it on day, it has six days left and then five days left and you're, the money's slowly going up. It's People are bidding on it and then two days left and you're, you're wondering, am I going to win this? Will I make it? And then you're stressing yourself out. You're thinking about it so much. And what happens? You lose it, and then you're bummed out for a bit. It, You know, it, we shouldn't be, but that's just the reality is if you don't win something, you're going to be like, oh, geez, what was this person willing to pay for it? And could I have just spent a little more and won it? Don't go through that hassle. When you're scrolling through eBay and you see cool things, click that watch button. Once your notifications are enabled, number one, they will reach out and send you a, a notification and say, you have mine for some reason are 14 minutes. I don't know why, but anyway, I'll get the notification saying, Lego set 4511 auction is ending in 14 minutes. Go on and bid. I'll go on and check it out and bid on it. What I really do is I put a reminder in my phone or right on my calendar with an alert, the auction that's ending. If I really want this Lego train auction, I'm going to put it in my calendar and say, okay, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. it ends. And I want that alert to go off at 9 a.m. on the day of that event. That way I can, I see that alarm at 9 in the morning. I quickly go on eBay and I see, okay, what's it selling for? I'm willing to spend 200 on this. Currently the listing's at 150. And then I say, great, let's set a timer. I set a timer on my phone or an alarm at the, you know, five to 10 minutes before this item is going to go off. When that time frame comes and my alarm goes off, I then go on eBay and see, okay, is it still at a price I'm willing to pay? If it's under that $200 I want to spend on it, then, oh, I get ready. We gotta blow! I then set, a, I set a, another timer until a minute before this listing ends, just in case I forget about it, because, you know, we're always, I'm, I'm always all over the place. Yeah, maybe that's just me. Anyway, though, when my timer goes off and I have a minute left, I go on and I wait. And when it gets down to those 15 or 10 seconds left, I put in my bid. And I put in the max amount I'm willing to pay for it. Even if this bid's at $100 and I say, you know, I will 
pay $200 and not a penny more for it, I put in my bid for $200. I might win it for $125, I might win it for $150, or I might lose it for $201 to somebody else. That's okay. That's my max bid. That's what I'm willing to pay for it. And it is hard to make that decision sometimes, but you can look things up and figure out what they're worth and make that decision. If you're trying to resell something, you know what margins you have to make, and or you could calculate what margins you would like to make and base your bid off that number. That's the best thing you can do to save your own time. Click the watch feature, write a notification, write it down in your book, write it in a calendar. However you organize your day planner, whatever it might be, write it down and then check on the final day that this listing ends. The great thing is I'm not spending all this time watching it and wondering, am I going to get it? Am I not? When you spend all that time watching and wondering if you'll get it, you get attached and you're, you will end up bidding more. You'll either spend more money or you'll lose it and be bummed out that you lost it. And you could also spend more money on it, win it, and then be like, oh, can I really afford this? I've been there too. I get it. All right. Lastly, number three, I said bid in weird increments. If you're, if I'm willing to spend 200 on this and I say that's my top dollar, I really don't want to lose it to somebody that also bid 200 or $200 and one cent. I'm going to bid $200 and 37 cents. You could also do something like just bid $202 and it gets a little dicey, but I always leave a bid with a weird penny increment of some sorts that is at least over 10 cents. The reason being is that I actually have won three auctions in the past few years off of with a 10 cent increment. I won for the bid I put in, which usually on eBay means that somebody was neck and neck with you. They typically have this delta where as you get to $100, you have to spend five additional dollars. If you bid $100 on something and somebody wins it for $100.37, they bid $100.37. And that's how I've won auctions before. It rarely happens where it gets that close, but when it does, you'll be very thankful you've bid that extra number. All right, so those are the three things you can do to really help yourself win auctions like a pro, save your precious time, and save some money. You're not going to be upset losing auctions anymore. You won't fret over them. You won't spend too much money on auctions, and you'll come in like a snake and probably save yourself money. If people don't know you're there for an auction war, then they won't bid a high number. If somebody thinks, hey, I'm already going to win this, nobody else is bidding on it, they're not going to put in a higher bid. I've learned that trick throughout the years. I've told my brother that trick and he we were just talking last week and he said, he's like, you know, I'm pretty sure you're the one that told me that trick. And I know for a fact, I didn't hear that trick from anybody else. It's something I simply picked up because I lost enough auctions and then I decided I can just bid at the last minute. And the cool thing with eBay, a lot of people bid days in advance because it is the feature where you can bid 200. That doesn't mean you're going to pay 200. It simply means that putting a bid for $200 in means that you will win any bid that somebody else puts in front of you until they outbid you. And the last thing you want to do is forget about a listing and not bid on it. That's why those methods also help. But at the end of the day, doing what I do, if you have the time for it, if you're not going to be asleep or if you're not at work, when that listing's ending, try and bid in the last minute. The only other dicey thing is worrying about your internet connection. I have lost a few bids, even last year, a few that I'm still... One, I was bummed out. It was a vintage train set. But anyway, I lost it because I didn't have good connection. I wasn't at home, didn't have my Wi-Fi, and gone. Just write down, understand when the listing's ending. Try and think about, okay, am I going to be at work? Am I going to be out with family? Whatever. Am I going to be at the movies? I don't care. Whatever, you, Wherever you are, just know if you'll be able to bid on it. I've been out at the bars with friends before, and I'll, I'll be like, oh, I just need a minute. And I put in a bid. I either win it or I don't. But I'm not spending a lot of time on it, which is great. All right, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button and please subscribe to see more. If you want to see Lego content, whether it's about BrickLink or trains, definitely subscribe. If you're not super into Lego, but you are you do online sales, you can also subscribe. Some of my content for selling on BrickLink will correlate with you and you'll get some fun Lego content on the way. Thank you for checking this out. Have a great day and a great weekend. Lego, my James-o.